yes it's confirmed the android os for pc is coming probably next year this is a update video of my previous video on the same topic it's happening official android desktop os if you haven't watched this video you can go and watch this i'll put a link in the description for this at that time we had some clues and all that but this time we have the confirmation so in a recent snapdragon summit this is what they said listen to this last just the one before last uh which is also something else uh we're working together something that we're incredibly excited about it which is also how we're thinking about personal computing Mm -hmm. So what can you share about what we're doing together for this new project at Google for personal computing? Um, well, you know, we're combining together, our, our strategy overall is to bring really, really rich computing experiences to every category. So we've talked about autos, we've talked about XR, we've talked about smartphones, of course. Um, and in the past, we've always had uh, very different systems between what we're building on PCs and what we're building in smartphones. And we've embarked on a project to combine that. And so, you know, we're building together a tech common technical foundation for uh, our products on PCs and desktop computing systems. And I think this is another way that we can leverage all of the great work we're doing together um, on our AI stack, our full stack, bringing Gemini models, bringing the assistant, um, bringing all of our application and, and developer community into the PC domain. So we're really excited about this, and I think this is uh, another way in which Android is gonna be able to serve everyone in every computing category. By the way, I've seen it. They're basically gonna replace Chrome OS with Android. Uh, I think they're gonna keep the design, look and feel of Chrome OS. Yeah, I mean, I think it's obvious that we all want our devices to work seamlessly together, right? Yeah. And, we, and in the Android ecosystem, you have all these different devices uh, and you want your AI to be able to work across all of them. So that's the new era, that's what we're all driving yes. towards. Yes. If you think about the laptop form factor, we've had Chrome OS for a long time and we're super committed to uh, that platform and, and it's been really successful for us. We've learned a lot from it as well. And I think, you know, then we also have Android tablets, which have been super successful. They're becoming more productivity machines all the time. Yes. So I think the opportunity for us that we see is how do we accelerate all the AI advancement that we're doing on Android and bring that to the laptop form factor as rapidly as possible and also have the laptop and the rest of the Android ecosystem work seamlessly together. So what we're doing is we're basically taking the Chrome OS experience and we're re-baselining the technology underneath it on Android. Uh, so that combination is something we're super excited about for next year and we're working with yourself and others on it and I can't wait. And listen to this again. Oh, I think it's, uh, it, it delivers on the vision of convergence and mobile. So as he said that he has seen it, let me play this one more time here. Android is gonna be able to serve everyone in every computing category. Listen to this now. By the way, I've seen it. It's incredible. I think it's... Yeah, some people have seen it. The internal peoples, I guess, the big ones, <laughs> the devs and all that. Uh, it, it delivers on the vision of convergence and mobile and PC. And uh, I can't wait to have one. Yeah, it's already on the work. Okay, so as he said that he has seen it. So we can expect this new, you know, operating system from Google based on Android. Uh, for PC next year in 2026, maybe early or mid. So we don't have any confirmation when it's going to come out. But the thing is, yeah, it's confirmed now. Okay, it's actually happening. Google is making a Android OS for PC. It's like uh, they are trying to make an ecosystem of Android, just like Apple. You know, they have the Mac, uh, the iPhones, the iPads and all that, you know, they have good ecosystem. So maybe Google is also trying to do that. And one more interesting thing I want to share with you guys, this article on Android authority and this video. Okay, so listen to this now. <laughs> Huge news today related to both Android and Chrome OS. First, we have seen leaked evidence to suggest that Google is working on a brand new laptop codenamed Snowy. Snowy appears to be a premium laptop that would go up against the likes of the MacBook series. To compete with the MacBook, uh, it's a leak. Uh, since it's now confirmed that Google is actually making a Android OS for PC, this could 
be also somewhat true. We'll probably not run Chrome OS, which is what you would expect from a Google branded laptop. Instead, Snowy might run Android. This would make it the first Android laptop we've ever seen from Google. Now, this is just leaked information. At yeah, it's it's happening uh, sooner than we expected. OK, probably next year in 2026, we will see a Android OS for PC. Now, there are a few things I want to point out here. The Android OS for PC that is coming out might not be available for all PCs. It might just be a ARM only operating system, which means uh, you know, the most PCs that we use are x86 architecture type. So in that case, yeah, uh, we won't be able to enjoy the Android OS for PC. It, it's still a confusion since, you know, everyone is uh, moving towards ARM. So I think the Android OS for PC is going to be for the ARM devices. Like Apple, they have this silicon thingy ARM architecture type. Okay, they have abandoned the x86. All the Apple devices now run on ARM chips and uh, the new Copilot Plus PCs from Microsoft and other companies, they are also running on ARM uh, architecture. I think Google is also gonna follow that. Like they're gonna make the ARM based laptops with the Android OS on it. Now. Even if it doesn't come to the x86 officially, we'll still be able to get the Android OS thanks to third party projects like the Bliss OS. This is an open source project based on Android. So the projects like this who makes the Android OS for PC will also benefit from that. They can fork the Android OS for PC and make it available for all types of PCs, including the x86 ones. It's actually a big news that Android is coming for PC. Now for the Windows, yeah, there is going to be a con competition. You know, Chrome OS is actually pretty good, but sadly it isn't that powerful. It doesn't have uh, as many apps as Windows or uh, uh, Android. It's pretty okay and it runs on low end devices, but the Android OS, will be able to run on high-end devices and it will be more powerful and you'll be able to do more things with it. And yeah, it can become a pretty good alternative to Windows. I'm actually really excited for the Android OS for PC. I just can't wait. And another thing, there is this thing called uh, Chrome OS Flex. It's a official Chrome OS from Google for any PC. Okay, so you can see uh, upgrade your PCs and Macs to Chrome OS Flex. So we might see a similar project from Google saying Android OS for PC and we'll be able to install Android OS on any PC. Since they have done it with the Chrome OS, yeah, I think they're going to do it with the Android OS too. I have high hopes. <laughs> Hope they do it. And it's a good thing for Google, actually. Now they just have to work on one operating system, which works on both mobile devices and the PCs. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.